guys, Demon here, and today we are doing a review on Venom. I know I'm a little bit late to the party um, because Venom was released uh, last Friday, I want to say. I'm not sure though. <laughs> to be honest, I've been watching some uh, some reviews of this show, and a lot of them say they hate the show, it sucks, it's garbage, it's garbage without Spider-Man, and I would have to agree that it is garbage without Spider-Man. But at the same time, I disagree with all these all these uh, complaints and stuff about it. A lot of people saying like it's boring, it's a bad story, it's kind of dumb. Uh, I would agree with it's kind of dumb, especially Venom sounds kind of like a like a child sometimes, and he sounds kind of really stupid. <laughs> uh, but, but the story itself is okay, I would say. Uh, the whole story with his girlfriend and him losing his job and stuff, which kind of like didn't really make sense because if you have a job like that. And you're an actual journalist that that does stuff um, that actually does the good thing, right? I would, I would assume that you would have made different things for yourself as well, like a YouTube channel, a Facebook and Twitter account, and also like maybe even a Patreon, right? <laughs> but but whatever, I guess. Um, <clears throat> but before we get into those spoilers, um, let's get into non-spoilers, then spoilers. So, non-spoilers first. Not much I can say without spoiling this. Uh, basically, a lot of people have been saying this was a stupid movie. I disagree. I actually think it was pretty good, and it was actually a pretty fun watch. It's a watch that you turn off your brain and you'll enjoy. That's the kind of watch that you're going to go into this with. Nothing too special, but nothing too not special. I doubt they're going to make a sequel, even though they did set up for one in a... In a in the end credit scene, but I doubt they're going to make one because it did not do that well. Because people just get mad at movies like this. <laughs> and to be honest, I thought I would too, but I enjoyed it. <laughs> um, so without spoiling it, it has an average plot line um, with average characters and just average, but it was funny and fun. So everything was average, but it was funny and fun at the same time. And uh, not too boring. There was a couple parts where it got a little bit boring, but not too boring at the same time. So pretty good in my my opinion. You know, I give it a thumbs up. <laughs> um, so <clears throat> that's spoiler free, by the way. Uh, so if I were to rate it spoiler free, 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, 5 being average, I'm going to rate this show a 6. It's a six. It's not average. It's not the worst, and it's not the best. It's a uh, it's a six because it's slightly better than average, and it's pretty funny. I would suggest watching this at least once, maybe not a bunch of times, but watch it at least once. It's pretty damn good, um, in my opinion. Okay, so spoiler section here. Spoiler alert, <laughs> if you haven't watched already. Basically, this is about Venom and Eddie Brock. Um, originally, Spider-Man, his suit got, if I'm not mistaken, Spider-Man's suit gets infected with the symbiote, and he becomes the black suit Spider-Man, and then he gets rid of it because it starts messing with his mind, and then it, it forms onto Eddie Brock, which is basically a co-worker of Spider-Man's, or a co-worker of Peter Parker's, and then they become Venom, and they have, like, this hatred for Spider-Man, because Venom has a hatred because he abandoned him. And Eddie Brock has a hatred because Spider-Man beats him, I think, if that's the case. Um, and it's a, it's a cool storyline, and it's a pretty cool villain. And then it leads into the carnage and stuff, and which is really cool as well. But this is basically just Venom coming to Earth to invade Earth with his friends. They go around in the comet trying to invade Earth, I guess. I don't know if Earth was exactly the planet they wanted to go to, but they wanted to go to a planet to invade it. And Earth was just the first one that they found. Uh, basically, it has an average villain, a big technical, logical guy, or a big company, I guess, who for some reason has the ability just to kill whoever they want and do whatever they want, and the cops don't stop them, along with a lot of other people in this show. Uh, and then we have Eddie Brock, which is a journalist. Uh, his journalist company is just like, don't say that, you're going to get us in trouble sort of thing. And he's just like, no, I'm in, I'm, I have integrity, and it, I think it's kind of like satire on like most journalist companies are not uh, don't have integrity anymore because they're all garbage except for maybe the independent ones. 
which is what I was saying because he gets fired from his journalist company for being in, for being in, like for being like integral. Um, which is what I was saying is that he had a lot of followers and stuff, and he had like his own TV show. He should have made like a, a YouTube channel, a Facebook channel, a Twitter channel, a Patreon. And even his own website, because even if this rich guy who got him fired could get him banned off of all those websites, um, if he had his own website, he'd be fine, because a bunch of people watched him, it seemed. So it seemed like he still would have had a job if he just would have thought ahead. <laughs> but but whatever, I guess that's just a nitpick. <laughs> so basically, he goes to his company and talks about the hard facts, and his girlfriend's a lawyer, so he gets the information from her. But he does it by looking at her emails when she was asleep, and gets her fired as well. And that's why he gets to. That's why they were getting married, but now she broke up with him. Um, and it's pretty funny. And then there's this like this venom it takes her body over, and I gotta say that venom was pretty sexy. <laughs> uh, and then he ma- then venom makes out with him to go back into his body. It's it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool scene, and uh, it's the sexiest venom I've ever seen. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, but. But yeah, man, it's a pretty good, pretty good episode. It's, I mean, a pretty good sh- movie in general. It's not the movie I wanted, obviously. I would rather have the Spider-Man Venom movie. Uh, but it's a pretty good movie. It ends with Venom, quote unquote, sacrificing himself. But then we learn that he didn't sacrifice himself because Venom came to destroy the world. But I guess he's a good guy, and well, he turns into a good guy because of Eddie Brock. Or is his name Eddie Brock? I think his name is Eddie Brock or something like that. <laughs> Um, he turns into a good guy because of him, and then it goes on from there. So he's a bad guy, then he turns into a good guy, which is not Venom in, in the slightest, but, you know, it's okay, I guess. Uh, but, but all in all, it's a funny movie. It's not the movie I was looking for. It's a 6 out of 10, as I already said. Um, there is an end credit scene <clears throat> where we get Carnage, but that's beside the point, I guess. So, let me tell you what the movie I actually wanted to see would have been like, and if it was better than this. First up, I think this should have been the new Spider-Man, because Spider-Man movies from Sony, they have a bad track record, because it's like, Spider-Man 1 and 2, like the original, were great. Spider-Man 1 and 2, the originals, were awesome. The third one was a Venom one, it should have been awesome, but they fucked it up. <laughs> so it was bad. And then, I think the next one was Amazing Spider-Man, if I'm not mistaken, or something like that. And that one was also pretty good, people said. Like, people said it was great, it was fantastic. Uh, personally, I don't know, because I didn't really like it that much. It wasn't really my forte, and uh, my phone's not letting me do anything. I hope it's still recording. It still is. Okay. Still recording. Come on, let me move it. It's stuck. <laughs> But anyways, let me see, double check if it's still recording. Still recording? Still recording? You're still recording. Why aren't you moving? Ah, whatever. <laughs> Stuck on this screen. But anyways, Spider-Man, the second version of him, a lot of people said it was great. I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was as good as uh, Andrew Garf. Oh, wait, no, that, the second one was Andrew Garfield, wasn't he? The first one was Tobey Maguire, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but yeah, his performance, a lot of people said was amazing. I said it was just okay. And then they f- then they made a second one, and they fucked it up. They fucked up the second one. It seems like they, they have good ideas for, like, the first one or two, and then the, then the next one, they're just like, well, we gotta rush this out, so let's just fuck it up, and, like, people will still buy it. It's kind of stupid. So what I would have wanted from a Venom movie, I like this movie, don't get me wrong, I like this movie, I suggest watching it, it's freaking funny, uh, a little bit dumb in some areas, I still can't move this fucking screen, it's fucking stalled there, <laughs> a little bit dumb in some areas, but pretty damn good nonetheless, uh, you know, I, I, that's why I never listen to critics, man, every time a critic says something sucks and I watch it myself, sometimes I'm just like, that was one of the best movies I've ever seen, like, Critics suck. I'm sorry to say, but critics and people don't have the right opinion all the time. Go check it out for yourself. Don't even listen to my opinion. Just go check it out for yourself. Or actually, listen to my opinion, then go check it out for yourself. Because my opinion is obviously correct all the time. (laughs) Um, But anyways, uh, the Spider-Man movie, I mean the Venom movie I wanted to see was basically this new Spider-Man. Spider-Man Homecoming, I guess. 
Basically, I wanted to see Spider-Man Homecoming get infected with the Venom symbiote from a comic, uh, or from a meteor, like the original. His suit gets affected, and he gets affected from it. And then, at, then like, halfway through, like, the original um, Venom, like, the original third one where Venom was, right? Uh, the original third video movie where Venom is, if they just redid that but made it better, it'd be awesome. So remove Sandman, I think there was Sandman in there. Remove him, and basically just have Spider-Man get the Venom suit and start changing, and start doing badder things, and he's still in high school probably. And, uh, I think, uh, what was it, Gwen State? not Gwen Stacy, I think it's, um, either Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane, who's the, uh, what is she, the black chick, I think she is? And she's kind of just like, like, she's like the new version of her, she's kind of just like, What's up? Yeah, <laughs> I know her sort of thing. She's kind of like a, a delinquent almost, right? And make her make a joke towards him, and he was like, he like, he like, shut the fuck up, kind of thing, because he's like, he get, he the suit's starting to affect his brain and stuff like that. I think it'd be really cool to see that, man. But no, like jazz hands walking down the street, by the way, none of that. <laughs> but no, it'd be cool to see him going down this pathway of badness, and Iron Man trying to talk to him, and he'd be like, he'd be like, you know what, old man. You're fucking stupid. Like, I don't need your fucking help sort of thing. And his aunt knows about his spider man this now. So it'd be cool to see him just back talk to her and stuff like that. It'd be a really cool movie to see. But they didn't do that, obviously. Uh, and then halfway through, he would get rid of it. And then it would attach to another character. I'm not sure who exactly. Um, but someone that Spider-Man or, P or Peter Parker has wronged. And it would turn into Venom. And they would go after Spider-Man, but by the end, he would win, obviously. And he would win probably by sound waves or fire, because that's Venom's two weaknesses. Um, so he would win at the end. Venom, the person that was doing it would go to jail, and Venom would have escaped. Uh, and then we would have got the, the, sec the second one to this, okay? So th this is like a three-part series. So the first one is Spider-Man, Black Spider-Man suit with Venom. Uh, the second one... Uh, would be like at the end of that one, it would have like an end credit scene where we would see Carnage, like just like at the end of this, but better. <laughs> so we would see Carnage, or the character that's going to play Carnage. The suit would attack him, and then he would go, like, this is the second Spider Man movie at this point, right? So, and this one, it would start off with Carnage, and Spider Man might fight him and be like, what the hell, sort of thing? And then he would go break out Venom because Carnage is like a, a it's like a, He's like a, almost like an offspring of the Venom symbiote. So he'd go seek out Venom to give the symbiote of Venom back to him. And then there's Carnage and Venom. And then I could see this having an epic fight. Like Spider-Man having a fight against Venom and Venom. Or Ven- Sorry. Carnage and Venom. Having an epic fight with Carnage and Venom. And maybe even at the end, Venom realizing that Carnage is a fucking psychopath. Because... Venom's inner self can still be reasoned with, but Carnage inner self is a fucking murderous psychopath. So I can see them having this epic fight with Carnage and Venom, and it'd be super duper cool and stuff. Um, and then by the end, Venom would obviously, Venom and Carnage would obviously lose. Maybe Venom would even help Spider-Man along that way, right? And then obviously the, the, the symbiote and the host would be separated sort of thing. Carnage would be put back in jail. Venom would be put back in jail. And then we would have a thing for the third trailer, which is actually finally the Venom trailer. Or the Venom movie that we deserve. So basically, there's a thing in comic books called Agent Venom. And it's where he... Uh, it's where Venom the symbiote combines with... Um, I think it's Flash? Or I think his name is Flash Gordon, right? Like Peter Parker's bully in school. I think he went to... I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken because I, I did not look at the comic book, but I, I got the gist of it sort of thing. Uh, so basically, like, the character that bullied Peter Parker in school went to war because of Spider-Man because he was so, like, uh, so, like, installed by Spider-Man. So he went to war to help his country, lost his legs, came back, and then Venom joined to him and... Like it was the per it was the perfect match. So no longer was Venom evil. He was Agent Venom, and this is where we could have this this movie. It would be Agent Venom's movie, where Venom would basically just be like this perfect match, and they would just go like throughout things, 
And Agent Venom, I think, at one point was part of the Guardians of the Galaxy, so it'd be really cool if we saw the Venom planet. That'd be also cool to see in a Marvel movie. To see, like, this Agent Venom lead up to Guardians of the Galaxy and then lead up to the, the Venom planet. And we would learn about the backstory and stuff like that, which I'm pretty sure the symbiotes were made out of a god shadow or something like that, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, man, that's what I want to see. That's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see Spider-Man versus Venom. Spider-Man was Venom and then versus Venom. And then I wanted to see Carnage and Venom versus Spider-Man. And then I wanted to see Agent Venom uh, at the very end. And then maybe leading up to Guns of the Galaxy and going up to the planet where uh, the symbiotes are originally made. But it'd be pretty cool to see all that. But instead we got this. And compared to that, this is kind of crappy. But all in all, this was still a good movie. And I still cannot move this screen. So <laughs> I hope you like this this uh, this shot of this guy's balls. And his face. And his face. And this face. And this face. And this face. And some poop on the screen. Because uh, people were calling this poop. So. <laughs> but I say it's pretty good. It's a 6 out of... 10 and I would say go watch it and uh don't listen to people I guess um but yeah man pretty funny so go watch it uh but compared to what I wanted to happen it is pretty shit <laughs> hey guys sorry about this erupt thing but just remind you to like comment subscribe and share and hit that bell notification button because you know, you like my content, you want to watch it. All right. Mm -hmm. Hey guys, mm -hmm. Demon here. Just saying, mm -hmm. hope you liked this video. If you did, like, mm -hmm. comment, subscribe, and share, and all that nonsense. Mm -hmm. But anyways, I hope you have a good day, because, you know, mm -hmm. the video's over. Mm -hmm. And I hope you watch more videos. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and click these videos, or click subscribe, you know. See ya. Mm -hmm.